Hello everyone and welcome back! In this lesson we are going to complete the implementation of our Angular Universal Express server. The first thing that we are going to do is we are going to try the version of the program that we have right now to see if server-side rendering is working. We are going to be running this Express server here in the command line. In order to do so, we are going to be using this command that is already prepared here in our package.json. It's the command start express server. As we can see, it's using ts node to run the server.ts file. Let's then do an npm run start express server. After a moment, we should have here a running server. Let's now see if our server is working as expected. Let's switch over here to a larger window and let's head over here to localhost port 9000. If we load this URL, we are going to see that we have indeed here a lot of HTML coming back from the server. We can see that the whole component tree of the root route is getting rendered. However, as expected, we see here that the CSS bundle and all the JavaScript bundles are not being loaded. And this is because our Express server is currently not serving these bundles. As we can see, all these network requests have here some sort of an extension at the end, .css or .js. So let's use that in order to configure our Express server in order to serve these bundles. These bundles that the application is trying to serve are available here in our dist folder. Let's then go back to our server and configure it to serve these bundles. We are going to add here to our express server some middleware. We are going to detect here the HTTP requests that are attempting to load these bundles. So as we have seen, they all have an extension such as .css or .js. So this middleware here will intercept that. And in order to respond to this type of calls, we are going to be using the express built-in static middleware. This static middleware is for serving static files. So we will need to pass in here the dist folder. So let's build the path to the dist folder. It's going to be dear name plus slash dist. We can also pass here an optional configuration object. Let's do so and specify here the caching headers for the response. Let's specify that these files have a max age of one year. This will not cause a problem because these files that are served from the dist folder, they all have unique names. If the content of the components change, we will get here a completely different hash. Or if we add some styles, we are going to have here a completely different bundle name. So these files are meant to be cached in the browser for a very long time. Let's now head over to our command line. We are going to stop here our server and we are going to restart it. After a while, we have our server again running. Let's see if now we are serving also the static bundles in the dist folder. Let's switch over here to a larger window and hit refresh. As we can see, we now have here the complete Angular Universal application that was fully server-side rendered. We got here the initial HTML. Let's confirm that by viewing the page source of our application. As we can see, we have here a lot of HTML. We have here the multiple cards available. For example, we have here the card of the Angular Universal course. At the same time, we also served all the bundles from the dist folder. So if we inspect here our network tab, and let's filter, for example, on CSS and reload the application. As we can see, our styles bundle is being correctly served by our Express server. At this point, our server implementation is almost completed. We are only missing a couple of improvements. 